Hi, welcome to the Beauty Bag. My name is Nicole. I'm one half of the people responsible for this channel. My sister Lisa will be doing some videos as well. I'm from British Columbia, Canada, and she's from Ontario, Canada. So I'd like to get right to business since I don't have a lot of time, but my first video will be a drugstore haul. I see that a lot of people really enjoy those types of videos. So I'll get right to it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products to review. I have tried them all. Um, so first I'd like to start off with the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. You can see it there. And I got it in sunlight, which is 021. And that's the color. It comes with a nice, there we go, a nice sun design in the middle. Um, as you can see, I'm very fair, um, very fair skin tone, and I really enjoy this bronzer. Um, it doesn't have any orange undertone. Um, I see that the lighting's not really very good, but I have it on right now, and um, it has, it really blends well, so if you do get too much on, it's really easy just to blend it in. Um, like I said, it doesn't have any orange undertone. Um, looks like you just got a nice sun-kissed glow, and I've been really happy with it. And um, I usually don't use bronzer. Um, I always have the fear of it being too orange, and a couple of the others I've tried have been too orange, but this one has been great. The other thing I tried, I've been seeing these a lot on TV, and I had to try one, is the Alme Intense Eye Color, the Smoky Eye versions. Um, I tried a bunch of those Alme ones that were expertly designed for, uh, according to your eye color, but I hadn't tried the Smoky Eye. And they kind of changed their packaging. Now they look like this. If you can see, there's a charcoal color, silver for your eyelid, a plum for the crease, and then a nice silvery color on top. Um, I'm wearing it today. Again, it's kind of hard to see in here, but I've really been happy with these so far. Um, I will probably get more colors. Um, they blend really nicely. Um, I found what I didn't like before was I found the colors didn't go in together very well, but these blend really nicely together. Um, and they're really easy to apply. Um, if you forget which color goes where, um, they are the instructions are on the back, which is also new. Before if you threw away your packaging and forgot you were kind of screwed. But um, yeah, I don't really have anything to say bad to say about them. Um, so far, um, it has pretty good staying power, good pigmentation. I like it. Uh, the next thing I got since I got bronzer was I got the Quo retractable brush. Um, to be honest, I just thought it was cool. The container was cool. Um, and so you just open it up. Out comes your brush, pops out. Um, it's a really nice soft brush. It's really great. Good size for um, bronzer, powder, um, blush even probably if you wanted to. Um, and it just pops back in. Um, I think it's a really neat design, and it's nice for um, keeping it sanitary, um, brush isn't touching any other surface, so that's really good. Um, I've enjoyed the brush, it blends well. Um, it is a little pricey in my opinion, I think 20 bucks for a brush for me is a lot of money, um, but with that neat design, it is kind of unique, and you know with Quo, um, it is going to be good quality. Um, next, I got the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I'm sure you've seen this a lot on TV. Um, and in the store, it comes in this cute uh, magenta bottle. Um, it's supposed to give you the appearance of having false lashes. And the brush looks like a spoon. And the idea is that you're supposed to go like this way with the mascara. Um, I like this mascara. I definitely wouldn't say that you look like you have false eyelashes by any means. Um, if you want false eyelashes, use false eyelashes. It doesn't look like that. Um, but it does add volume. It does add length. So it does do what um, you want a mascara to do. Um, the color's great. It's nice dark black. Um, I have it in yeah, black black. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the smell. 
Um, I think it's kind of strong. You don't smell it when it's on your face, but um, I don't really like the smell in the bottle. Um, and I also, a while ago, got the Maybelline Colossal. To be honest, besides the applicator being different, I really didn't notice a difference between these two. Um, so if you've been wondering if you want both, I wouldn't spend the money. Um, I would just get one or the other. Maybe just, you know, decide which color bottle you like better, because I really didn't notice a difference. Um, in terms of clumping, I didn't have any problems. Um, and so overall I'm happy, but I just kind of wish I hadn't got both, because um, I didn't need both. Next, um, this is one of my favorite things ever that I have in my collection. Um, my sister got me hooked on the Dream Blush, sorry, Blush Concealer, um, and now I have tried the Dream Mousse Blush, and it's in Peach Satin. It also comes in the cute little container. Um, this is a beautiful color. It's called Peach Satin. And again, it's that moussey type of texture. And when you kind of swatch it on your hand, um, the reason I won't show you is it kind of looked, when I first used it, it looked really sparkly. And I was like, oh, because I, did, I didn't really want my blush to have lots of sparkles. But when you blend it and put it on, you don't see the sparkles at all. There's like a sheen to it, but there's no sparkles. Um, beautiful color, so easy to blend. If you, again, if you get too much on, it's so easy to blend. Um, great color um, I would recommend this color pretty much for any skin tone especially me because since I'm so fair um, some people I've seen said that they put uh, used it as a base and then put blush over top to have more staying power for the color personally I put it on one day I tried at 7 in the morning and when I went home, I had an evening class, and it went till about 9, and it was still on just as vibrant as the morning. So, personally, I haven't had any problems with the color staying. Next, I got the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick um, in Candy Pink. I think these have the cutest containers. It um, has a textured... Uh, plaid pattern on it and they're really cute and the top shows you more or less what the color is and it's pretty true to the color in the um, actual lipstick personally I think the color on the bottom is a little closer to what the actual color is I'm wearing it right now um, it's just a really fun candy pink color um, I'm recommending this to everyone who will listen to me um, this lipstick feels so good. It's like having a uh, chapstick and a lipstick in one. You don't need any chapstick or lip gloss as a base. It's so soft, silky, they smell great, it even kind of smells like candy. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm going to go get new shades. I also got the Spare Source um, crease blender brush. I never had a crease blender brush before and I certainly notice the difference now that I have one. Um, it's really great for getting in the crease, perfectly shaped for um, my eye. Um, nice handle, good length. I kind of like that it's a bit longer of a brush. Um, I'd never actually heard of this brand before. Um, it was pretty cheap. It was only like I think seven dollars at Walmart. Um, and all this stuff either came from Walmart, Superstore, or Shoppers Drug Mart. And the last thing I tried that I'm also wearing is the Kiss Everlasting French Better Than Salon Nails. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I've seen them in several videos on YouTube. And I got really curious, and I finally had to try them. I'm wearing them now. I just applied them last night, and I've never worn fake nails in my life. Um, and I'm not the kind of person that wants to go and spend a lot of money on my nails, and I think they look fabulous. They're easy to apply, um, and I'll let you know after I've worn them for a few more days to give a full review. Um, so thank you for tuning in to the first video of the Beauty Bags. Um, leave any comments you want. Um, if you want any more details on the products I've talked about, let me know. Thank you for tuning in, and have a great day.